Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, I've talked about this before. I'm going to talk about this again. Uh, you know, when we're talking about this theme of uh, how interactions with uh, what I would call NPCs are kind of uh, not that interesting, not that good, and a little bit broken in Football Manager, there's no place, I think, where you see that more than in the uh, press conferences. I've had a video about this before, but it might be time again to uh, give this another shot and uh, take a look. So we'll look here at this uh, post-match press conference after we destroyed Wyoming. Go here to attend press conference. Okay, let's get this started off with the first question. Here you go. Wyoming had a poor day in front of goal, failing to register a single shot on target. Are you delighted with that stab? What are my options? I can say that's what I'd call a complete performance. It was very, very good. I'm very happy with our defensive play. We had a good shape, good organization. We were decisive in every way. Those are your positive ones. Neutral is, it's never quite simple in football, is it? We did some things well and some things not so well. The same can be said for our opponents. It would be kind of a ridiculous thing to say about a match that we won 5 nothing in which they had zero shots on target, right? I mean... And we had 70% of the possession. Negative, I don't think we were dominated. In the true sense of the word, there were still things we could have done better. Most of the time, I think you'd hear a coach say that, honestly. And then the worst is, I'm actually not too pleased. Wyoming weren't to the races, but we didn't take full advantage of that. And we played some sloppy stuff. That's also ridiculous to say, given what the score was. Now, if you don't know this yet, I'll tell you, the easy way to do these press conferences is to not read this garbage they give you. You click on the second from the left. And that's the way that it always works. That's why everybody's pleased and positive and will always be. If you do that, even if you lose, even if you play poorly, it will always work. All right? Was Cesar Aldana's early goal crucial in your view to how the match panned out from there on in? Probably not because we scored five times and he scored three. <laughs> um, uh, positive. I was keen for us to get off to a good start, and the goal was the perfect way to do that. Being able to dictate a game goes a long way to determine the outcomes. I was pleased that an early goal enabled us to do that. There's no difference between these two answers, Sports Interactive. Neutral, I would rather not discuss that right now. Huh? <laughs> Why not? That I mean, is ridiculous. It's a ridiculous response. Negative, there was still a lot of this match left at that stage, so I didn't know how significant it was. Yeah, he scored in six minutes, right? And such an early goal can sometimes light a fire under the opposition. That makes things much harder and much less pre predictable. Again, I mean, a lot of these are just sort of cookie-cutter type responses, right? If you had a really close game, um, these negative responses would probably be appropriate. In a match you want five to nothing, I would say that this question is not even appropriate. So we'll click on the second from the left. And then here again, how about Glenn Cook's disciplinary record? That was the seventh yellow card um, this season today. So the first one, does his this one your record worry you is a question. The second one, that was his seventh yellow card this season today with whatever this is. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's the thing that lets me close that. Okay. Um, the second question is not a question. Good job, whoever wrote this. Um, positive is I'm not worried he needs to play with an edge to be the player he is. And on balance, he provides so much more to the team that way. Well, yeah. I mean, the reality is in the tactic we tell him to, you know, get stuck in. Um, that's why he's fouling so much. Uh, second up here is uh, I know he'll get cards playing the role. And in the matter he plays, and that's something I'm willing to accept. Yeah, that's the actual answer, obviously. Neutral, I don't want to discuss Glenn's disciplinary record in this press conference. Whatever. I mean, honestly, there are circumstances in real life in which you would say that. You know, so I guess we can forgive that. Negative, Glenn can sometimes get carried away, but he is working hard to correct that, or some of Glenn's play can be a little reckless, and he must learn to control himself better. These are the same responses, and these are kind of the same, but this one's a little bit less, a little bit more carefree, and this one's kind of taking responsibility for what it is that you've done. Right, I mean, there's these, like, little bits of difference between them, but as you can see, oftentimes there's no real difference in the responses at all, and yet the qu the uh, response that you choose does have a difference in how the press perceives you. If you choose the wrong thing, they're going to think really weird things about you, even if it made sense. Just how good was Cesar Aldon and how important was his hat trick to winning that match? Positive, he is now standing football, and I really couldn't be happier. He reaches new levels seemingly every week. That's true. Or it's always special when a player scores three in a game. I'd love for Cesar to do it more often. This actually is not a great answer because he's scored, I think, like four hat tricks for us so far this season. Neutral, it's far more appropriate to discuss the team's performance than one individual's. I would say that's actually negative. Negative, this, that sort of performance shows what he's capable of. My job now is to get even more out of him. Um, he's done it before, right? Or there was more than a hint of luck about the goals, and I'm not sure his performance merited them. That's ridiculous. One of them was a penalty, right? It came late in the match, yeah, but uh, one of them was a penalty. So, I mean, whatever, ridiculous. It, oh, you have to scroll down here. There you go. There's that penalty at the very end. So, yeah, we're going to choose the correct answer, of course. But, again, I mean, either the answers are, like, the same or the answers that are obviously not the ones to choose are completely ridiculous. Like, you would never say that, right, given what happened. 
And finally, you've got one of the best defensive records in the league. What do you attribute that to? Positive is I'm lucky to have fantastic players with quality in every area, or it all starts with hard work, really. The players are prepared to put in the effort to get better, and it pays off on the pitch, right? Um, I mean, this one, I guess, is a little bit more training-focused. This is we're just awesome. Neutral, it's a little bit of everything, really, which how is that different than this? I, I don't know. <laughs> Negative. Tactically, we're very sound, and everything stems from there. So I guess that's saying that it's the tactic that's better than the players. That's why it's negative. Or I would say we could actually improve somewhat. There are definitely areas in which we've not done as well as we'd have liked to. That's what most coaches would say. But yeah, we'll do this one because we know it's right. And there's your whole press conference, right? As you can see, I mean, it's a total waste of time to sit here and read these questions. It's a waste of time to sit here and read them to you, right? It's, it's totally like, you know, about as cardboard cut out as it can possibly be. Now, I've said this before and I'll say it again. This game is actually not a sports simulation. It's an RPG. What I would prefer is an older style system where like there's a question that comes along and instead of choosing the exact answer, you're choosing like a generic way to answer the question with some nuance, right? Some sort of system in which it's not like every time you choose this answer, it's right. And a system instead where it's like, you know, well, it sort of depends upon what happened, where the game could be somewhat cognizant of how your team played would ask questions that relate to that and then would sort of change the way that responds to your answers based upon things that took place right we know that that happens in the game right I'll, I'll show you here i've clicked away from this but i'll show you here you click here five star BYU triumph right why does it say that because we scored five in a game right so they can do it here with the uh, press reports about the match well why can't they do it in the press conference right in the press conference you're like do you even know what game you just watched there are even more ridiculous things as others have talked about where in the press conference they'll ask you about some team that's not in your league or they'll ask you about some player that you've never heard of before or they'll demand answers to you for que of questions like, you know, who do you think is going to win your league this year when you haven't even managed the first game yet? I mean, things like that are just absolutely ridiculous and should be taken away, right? I mean, who thought that was a good idea? Anyway, that's sort of my answer about, uh, or my uh, top, my take on what the uh, press conferences are like. I think that this, of all of the interactions in the game, this is the worst. This is the thing that needs the most help. Honestly, I think that it needs to be completely rethought of and reimagined from the ground up. The idea that, oh, we're going to give the player, you know, five different responses like this is, I don't know, like an adventure text game from 1984 is a little bit outdated. Those who play football manager need, I think, to stop looking solely at football statistics and instead they need to start looking at what other RPGs are doing and how other RPGs have interaction with NPCs, right? That's what you really want in this game. You want this to feel like an actual interaction that's meaningful, right? And not just, you know, oh, this guy has positive or pleased written under his name. There needs to be something that's more of a back and forth and something that's a little bit more true to how you would handle this type of press conference. And it needs to be possible for you to answer negatively or to answer in a sarcastic way or in a sardonic way or an ironic way or something like that and have that not necessarily just be negative and have everybody hate you as a result. Anyway, that's kind of what way I, th I feel about this. Um, people have been saying this on the forums for years now, so we know it's not going to change. But this is one aspect of the game that really could be improved. I mean, it really could because it's such a waste of time otherwise. Just click the second from the left, you'll be fine. Talk to you later. Bye.